Hi guys, my name is Ireoluwa Ibukunluwa, aka The Global Creative, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I really just want to talk about a few things that you, you need to know before coming to FUNAB. So this is basically a freshers guide 2023 for the year 2023 for, you know, freshers that are willing or that maybe even gotten admission into the Federal University of Agriculture at Belkuta. So you might be watching this video in 2023 or not, but this is a guide any day, any time. I mean, I'm a 500-level student of um, FUNAB, so I think I'm in the right position to, <laughs> to give anybody a guide on basically a few, um, you know, tips here and there on, like, basic um things that you need to know about the school and as a fresher. Before we proceed, I think the first thing I want to do is to actually congratulate you. So if you've got if you're watching this video and you just recently got admission into the Federal University of Agriculture, I say a big congratulations to you. <laughs> congratulations to you. And um yeah, I've been making a, a video a few videos that are related to you know university, balancing your life, and then including this one, which is a freshers guide. So you might want to you know subscribe or check my channel, maybe it is even up by the time you are watching this video subscribe and don't forget to subscribe and also um turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when i post videos like this so a few things that you need to know before i mean concerning you know this admission i have just recently gotten i majorly have like six things i want to talk about um like six major points i want to talk about in this video so first let's talk about accommodation so now that i have gotten admission into the federal university of agriculture accommodation so you have two options basically do i stay in the school still or do i stay outside campus and honestly the choice is yours and it may it may depend on a lot of factors but for me personally i've been in this school <laughs> i said this school still for since my hundred level honestly since my angel i've been in the school still and it was just my choice basically so um like i said this is your choice and it depends on a lot of factors your you know funds the money that you have how the number of things they are juggling because sometimes schools still can limit you from doing some things in some kind of way then um outside school you can do a lot more things when i mean a lot more things in the sense that if you have a business for example let's say you sew you can have a sewing machine in your room outside school but inside school still definitely not and none of those kind of things shall there are businesses of course i can do as a student even when you stay in school still but there are limits that's what i mean and um what else your money also determines where you will get or still even outside campus let's even just talk about outside campus alone like it's grade by grade basically so there are there are hostels, but then their prices differ. So there are hostels of 200,000. I'm sure there are even hostels of 300,000. There are hostels of uh, maybe 120, 150, and all of that, and maybe even less. But it depends. And, of course, what you are getting also from the hostel will determine how much it's going to cost. So that is that. But inside school, we have how many hostels? One, two, three. We have three major, four hostels four hostels and these four hostels they have both male and female except let me just say four major female hostels and three male hostels if i'm right <laughs> i don't even know i think i've lost count anyways but um we have i think i can even list them so you even start getting familiar with their names so for male hostel we have uk that's uma kabir kabir hostel i don't know if i pronounce it well uma kabir hostel and they have a couple blocks, so it's a lot of hostels. That's I don't even know how many I should count that one as, but in my career, I'll count it as one. Then they have um the extension of that. Let me count that as another one. Then um we have the old needs and we have the new needs. That's for meal. So we have four hostels for the meal. And for female, we have um Iyat, that's Iyalo de Tunibu all. We have Mabu Hostel. We have um the Mabu is there. I've the that's not the name actually. They've changed the name, but I really cannot remember. It's Mabu that is still in my head. Then um the third one is old needs, old needs assessment, female hostel, then new needs, um, female 
new needs assessment in the hostel. So it's basically like four four actually. Then um yeah, so those are the hostels and their prices differ. Well, so how how we bid for hostel is how we get hostels is that once you're interested, you show your interest and you bid when the portal for hostel bidding is out and you will always check you should always check the school portal you will so you know when the hostel bidding is out hostel bidding portal is open so once that is done it's really first come first serve of course like i think um maybe freshers and finalists also actually have like higher and a upper and or something but i'm very sure about freshers and uh yeah there should have preferences for people somehow somehow like that but is first come first serve so once the portal is open make sure you are there and you have your money i mean you have your internet ready and everything to you know first of all um book a, a slot for yourself and then i think in before three days you have to pay if not the slot will be given to another person you have to like book another slot again so um that's like about school still and honestly i think school still is not bad I know a lot of people say that ah, if uh, like they used to ca- it, it, some people think that school is something that they cage you. No, they don't cage you. It's some people that live <laughs> some people that live in school still say but they are even freer in quotes than people that live outside. Like they live their life even freer than people that live outside school. So it's not about they don't limit you. Like the the, the, the gate is open to you, like maybe twelve a.m. You still have. Of course, there are a lot of like the um those the restrictions here and there, but they, I don't think there are anything that is too bad for, and all Omolua be <laughs> to be able to cope with. Then the um the you have visitors that can come to visit you and all of that. So I said there are restric- restrictions because there are times where you don't have visitors, you cannot have visitors come visit you and all of that, which is I don't think it's, it's not so bad anyways. It's something that you can still live live with and manage anyway. So the choice is basically you just compare all of these things, distance to class and um how much you can just like cope with all of that and yeah. I might not be able to tell the prices of school still right now. Maybe I'll put it in this upload it, I mean update it in the description box of this video once it is out. But currently I may not be able to tell the prices because they will might most likely increase the prices from what it was before. And since this is a it's supposed to be a guide, so I would maybe just wait and if I get the prices I would I hope I remember to update the update you people in the description of this video and just put their prices in case you're interested in bidding for school hostels. I did not mention I've been actually I've actually stayed in just one hostel since boundary level. That's the old needs assessment and it was like brand new when I when I got in my hundred level. So that's where I stayed since my hundred level to four hundred. Wait, I have no reason for this session so I don't know where I'm staying yet. I actually have a video. I have a video that i made in that hostel more like a tour kind of thing so i'm going to link it to this video so you might want to check it out yep i'll be the next major thing i'll be talking about in this video is registration your registration you'll be doing a lot of registration a lot of documentation a lot of paying a lot of printing and all of those things and this is the stage for it so just be ready come ready but one thing i would like to say on that this point is that make sure you are not scammed because a lot of people know that okay you are naive um i believe i'm talking to freshers now anyways you might be naive because of course you're not used to this system and all of that so be careful make sure you are aware of what you are doing if they say do this ask questions and be sure of what you're supposed to do so they don't scam you or they don't cheat you and maybe you're supposed to pay um 1700 for example for something and then you go to maybe where you help you pay where you print and they say it's two five oh this thing is one thousand this one is gonna call and they shall just come you everywhere you shall pay uh what do you call that thing money for being a new person in this space every single place that you go the truth is i don't think you might be able to like um escape it in one way or the other because me self i so i i i, I witnessed my own share of it in my hundred level just just see that the money just going the money just <laughs> But really, you might, but it's, it's, it's good that you are, you are aware of what you are doing. And make sure you calculate well. Don't just spend money anyhow. As much as um you have to do all of these printings, registration, and this and that and that, make sure there's nothing wrong in pricing. There's not, I don't mean like pricing the like actual fee. What do I mean? Like if they say 
pay one seven for I don't even know. Maybe one miscellaneous deal or something now. I don't think you got me price miscellaneous. <laughs> miscellaneous deal i mean like maybe you want to print now and they say yeah it's 700 there is 1000 chemical price it down because all those ones is still like a big table because and this is something that you still repeat and repeat and repeat like there are a lot of things that you do so you might want to just be money conscious and don't allow them cheat you or don't allow them, allow them scam you i think i've also mentioned that you should ask questions verify processes how am I supposed to do it? Which, port which portal am I supposed to, you know, pay this money through? Because there's actually some things that you can do for yourself, but be sure of what to do because I've actually made that mistake. I think it was, I think in my hundred level, maybe the second semester or so, I paid, I tried paying my school fees by myself. <laughs> I tried paying my school fees by myself and somehow, somehow, I paid my school fees to the wrong account and I had to pay. Nobody will tell you that you have paid school fees. So you paid it to run account, so it's not reflect that you have paid. So I literally had to pay my school pay my school fees again, and then I'll file for refund. And the stress that I did, I got the money, but the stress that I did, I was perambulating Senate that time, Senate building that time. I got the money, but then they already deducted a particular amount out of it, and then the stress. So it's not even worth it. And so. Basically, just verify processes. If you cannot do by yourself, ask questions. And you can even pay someone to do for you. And also, don't forget that this process is going to be a very stressful one. Yes. It's basically all this medical. I think they're even like more lenient now because of this. Um, what's the, the schedule that they do for departments and levels and all to come and like do their registration in the medical center. Imagine if every body is going there, every single one of us, you now just be, it's first come first, people have gotten there by 4 a.m. in the morning, so now it's lenient, and so you just be ready for stress, you still be stressed anyways, you still be stressed, because you have to do departmental college, you have to pay this, pay that, and at the same time, you're attending classes, at the same time, you're trying to adjust to this new environment, a lot is just going on, so just be ready, and come ready to be stressed, you know, one other important thing is, under still under the same registration process is that you should um always don't ever submit your original documents and always make sure you have photocopies of all your original documents and don't make the mistake of submitting original documents anywhere and anytime. That's something that my, <laughs> my mommy always shouts about a and um, make sure you, you just make sure your documents are you know safe. Always be alert when you are you are dealing with your documents. No, okay, this is the original okay this is photocopy this is the one i'm submitting this is the one i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to be stamping and all of those things so don't just do things absent-mindedly and just do it anyhow because your body could tell you <laughs> and the last thing under the registration process that always be informed somebody is about crack it during corona that time when we used to do online class there's a crack a joke that if you go online like this i mean if you go offline your mates can graduate before you and literally that's how it was because before you come online, they've done tests. Before you come online, there's something I mean. Before you come online, they pass one information. Everybody has already taken actions and I'm like, ah, ah kill the day. Still, basically be informed. Like, don't allow your mates to graduate before you. Always ask questions. Don't just sleep off and be all relaxed and all. Make sure you know what is going on at all times. Because people are trying to adjust. Even your HOC that's supposed to pass information to you might not even know what to do at some point. And you ask questions, go, you may know he or she might not know what to do. So make sure that you verify from your seniors, from your HOC, from your mates that are around you, basically. Look for people in your department, look for people in your college, look for people that you can always, okay. Okay, we're going for orientation. Let's go together. Okay, we're going for this class. Where's this? Where's the venue? Let's go together and all of that. That's where you start getting acclimatized to the environment. Next, let's talk about academics. I think one important thing is that you should come with a goal in mind when you're coming to university. You just come with, oh, I'm free now. Especially if you're somebody that maybe you're not so free <laughs> before coming to school. So you don't be like, oh, I'm free now. Come and do anything. Uh, come with a goal in mind, basically. I don't even know what to say about that. But I have a lot to say about that actually, but come with a goal in mind and um um yeah, just come prepared. Come with the mindset that you actually want to ace your academic, you actually want to ace your class, you want to come out with the best that you, that God will help you come out with. And also note that it is very different from secondary school. This is if maybe you just graduated from secondary school, no, it is different to second school that you have for second third. <laughs> There is no first, second, third position here, but um, 
and everybody can literally be the first everybody can be the can can have good results so nobody's result is restricting anybody's result from being good if that makes any sense so you can do your thing right so make sure you read make sure you also pray like you have never read so read like you cannot pray and pray like you are not going to read so and um yeah, just make sure that you focus, yes, you stay focused on that which has actually brought you to this school and which is your academics because without you wanting to come and follow your studies or anything, you're not being full up. So every other thing should be secondary. God first, then your academics should follow. Every other thing, they are secondary, so, um, social life or your business or whatever it may be, they are secondary. And also your, your foundation is very important. I think I'm just portraying all this point I've mentioned actually. Your foundation is very important. You actually hear this a lot and it is not an understatement. It cannot be overemphasized. It cannot be overemphasized. Your um foundation is very important. The the the, the, the better the foundation, the better it will be, <laughs> the easier it will be for you to you know build on that which you have built in your hundred level. So make sure that you put in the effort now. It's going to take a lot, but make sure you put in the effort now because even when you want to now put the effort maybe later in 300, 400 level, it might be too late, honestly. So it's better you start now and all those ones now become easier to build on what you are already. And also learn how to calculate your GP. Learn how to calculate your GP. Learn how to ask questions from your seniors or there are materials that actually fly around around this type that will have, you know, breakdown of how to calculate your gp grab it and look at it and you know how to calculate your results even before the semester starts or before the session starts before classes actually start per se sit down with it and state out the result that you actually desire calculate your gp out and you're going to be better for it don't say i personally calculate my result before the end of the before at the beginning of the session, I mean, at the beginning of the session, and it actually helps a lot. It helps a lot. So the next major point I want to talk about is friends, 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 friends. So one thing that my dad always um amazed in our ears is that do not choose your friend. Sorry, don't let your friend choose you. You should choo- choose your friend, right? So don't allow... Uh, so you have the right, basically. You have the right to actually choose your friend because you can see, oh, I do not, I don't want to be friends with this person because I see this, because I see that. I want to be friends with this person because I believe that this person is going to help me achieve this particular goal. I believe that this person is like-minded. I believe that this person fears God and all of those things. So you actually see things in a particular person and you can choose to work with this person. So don't just allow anybody to just walk into your life. I think that's the essence of that. Don't allow anybody to just walk into your life. You have the, the power, you have the permission, you have you know the the power to actually choose who comes into your life and choose who you want to walk this journey with because it's actually a journey it may sound, it may sound serious and sound uh, motivational but it's actually a journey and yeah you must be careful who you walk this journey with because you're going to meet a lot of people a lot of people so you choose who comes into your life and who does not don't just open your life for anybody to just walk into it no you guard those that come into your space and that can come into your space is very 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 important and you might also feel like oh now i'm free now i'm the university now i'm on my own i can do what i like Mm -hmm. tread with caution i think that's what i have to say just tread with caution don't 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 feel like you are free now and then you can do all that you can all that you want or know that you can tread with caution and let the wisdom of god direct you at all times it is very very important I also like to talk about money, funding slash money. So, number one, federal investing at this point in Nigeria is actually very expensive. Nobody can even tell me nothing. <laughs> because, ah, hmm, hmm, hmm. Especially on the level because you are paying a lot of money, acceptance, school fees, hostel, um, upkeep, um, deals, blah, 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 blah. It's a lot. And on the level is usually higher than, you know, the other levels. And also final year. Oh God, I calculated the money, <laughs> the money that I was like just rough, rough idea of you know the money that we you know spend at the beginning of the session for hostels, school fees, um, and all of those basic things, final year project. 
and <laughs> it was not funny. But yeah, God is on the throne. God that has brought us to this level. He's going to carry us through to the very end. But basically, federal university is expensive. This is not even to scare anybody. It's just the fact. And when I say expensive, expensive is actually very relative because we don't want to compare it to some other schools and to private schools. But you shall spend money. You get, we spend money and you should be prepared basically that's why i'm making this video just be prepared that you will spend money so it also definitely depends on your course and your school and your level and all of those things so you you know let's say school this is just about fun but you get the point sure and um it, there is definitely a god to provide there is definitely a god to provide that is just our faith that god is going to provide and make a way even where there seems to be no way just our faith good so when we talk about expenses the basic things that you'll be spending money on as you are resuming school is definitely your acceptance fee your school fees your accommodation then um you pay a lot of deals then money for upkeep food stuff and all the things that you'll be bringing to school shop, clothes and whatnot then um books manuals deals a lot a lot is a lot is a lot <laughs> also don't forget to cut your coat according to your size cut your coat according to your size don't just spend money as you see it even if you have parents that are sponsoring you don't spend money just as it comes and also beat your parents back at home because nigeria is not even smiling at this point so manage as much as you can of course you have to spend but also do it with wisdom and also even if you are sponsoring yourself um yeah, people have done it before and God is actually going to carry you through. People have done it before. I personally know people that sponsored themselves through school and God has been helping. So if that is your case, God is definitely going to come through for you. That I'm very, very, very sure. Just put your faith in God and you'll be, you'll be, you'll, you'll give testimony at the end of the day. All right, I would like to talk about um, your place of worship, your place of worship or a place that you can call a home basically so personally for me i attend baptist student fellowship for nab baptist student fellowship for nab and um it's actually a place that i can call home it is we call ourselves the family of love and that is who we are um it is located at amoni amoni estate opposite grace hostel alabata i guess that's for nab area and um is is definitely a place i'm going to recommend for anybody to come you meet like-minded people that will you know help you to grow in every aspect of your life basically bsf is a place that i wish i could actually tell everybody if you have to be coming <laughs> and yes is the the, the, the the floor is open for everybody to come so feel free to if you are looking for a place of worship this is definitely a place that i will recommend to you so and if at all you watch this video and you you know came or plan to come please do well to comment into this video under the comment section in this video and i'll be glad to read that and also even meet you personally when you come all right i think that will be all for this video if you have any more questions maybe something i forgot to add to this video uh you think uh i need and you want clarity on do well to drop it in the comment section and i'll be there and ready to you know answer your questions and do well to share this video to anybody that you know that will need it whether the person is newly admit admitted to funab or is your friend or your class group your church group whatever it may be do well to share this video to them and thank you so much subscribe like and drop a comment thank you till next time bye